Hello guys, it's Christoph and in this video I'm gonna show you a solution to a long time After Effects problem and together we are gonna make these two little animations. So what's the issue? The issue is when you have a path like this and you want to add an animation to it, you would add trim path and keyframe the start or the end property, right? Easy. But the problem comes when you want to add a gradient to the stroke because as you can see, when you animate the end or the start property, the gradient just stays on the same place and the trim path acts just like kind of a mask or something. And in After Effects there is no such button or switch that would magically enable you to do it and I've been looking for a solution for so long. I found some guy on YouTube and he uses this technique with tapering the stroke and blending between different two shapes. But this technique is really complicated and honestly it looks terrible. But recently I came up with my own solution to this problem and I'm gonna show it to you in this video. So let's start with this progress one and we are gonna have this background uh, path like this which is gonna be dark. Let's duplicate it and change uh, the top one's color to something like this. It's just for preview so we don't confuse it with the background one. And we want to add the trim path uh, property to it which is here and also we want to create a null object like this and add a slider control uh, effect to it. Okay, so we want to take this end property and map it to the slider control like this. And now, as you can see, if we use the slider, it controls the, the end property. Very simple. Now let's click P to go into position of the null. Alt click position, Alt click this stopwatch, and let's write this expression layer equals um, layer equals this layer, okay, and path equals uh, the path of this shape, like this. You need to add the semicolon at the end. And now the magic comes. So layer dot to comp uh, path dot points on path. And now we need to link in the slider and divide it by 100. Okay, and now our null object copies the position of the end of the trim path. Also, if you are wondering why I have these rounded corners, it's in the stroke and you would have butt cap as default and change it to a round, okay? So this is the progress. And now here the real magic comes in because now we are gonna create a circle. <laughs> Very ugly. Remove the stroke and Let's uh, let's change the gradient a bit because it's somehow a lot ugly. Maybe like this, okay. And we don't need the second part to be. Let's just make it I don't know, orange, okay. So let's put it in the middle, and we're gonna uh, copy this position of the null. To the to the to the circle to the center of the circle. So it's gonna look oops not like this like this. Well, we need to adjust the anchor point of the circle. So maybe let's remove this expression for now and just hold this icon and click Control so you can put it in the middle and now you can correctly map it. Let's also increase the size. And uh, let's set the track mate to the shape layer three. So this is basically the effect. Because as you can see, now if you move with this, it follows. Okay, we need to make it a, we need to make it slightly bigger. It follows the, it follows the, uh, it follows the end of the of the trim path. So I'm gonna show you another use of this technique. Let's start in Illustrator. So you create a beard shape like this. Okay. 
and you take this tool and round the corners. Now save it as an AI file and import it to uh, After Effects. Now you place it into your composition and click right click and create shapes from vector layer. Now it's a vector inside After Effects, so we can scale it. We have to place the anchor point in the middle again. Let's align it to the middle and scale it even more. Let's add a um, stroke to it at like five. Okay, so now we have a nice path. So again, let's duplicate it and make, a little, make it red. Uh, let's add trim path to this top object. And let's add a null object. Slider. Link um, this into the slider. And end position to start position. And just subtract. Is it subtract? Yes, I think so. Subtract 15. So now we have this little snake moving in the in trails. Uh, and it's done because our the end of the trim path copies the start and it subtract 15, which makes this, uh, you know, if we want it to be longer, we, we will subtract it by more. But I think 15 is enough. Okay, so now let's, uh, let's do the same with this. There's a fun fact, you don't have to add a semicolon to the last line, but I'm gonna add it there anyway, because it's uh, good manners. <laughs> but as you can see, uh, our null object is somehow like derailed a bit. And actually, I found out about this issue yesterday when you import an, uh, an Illustrator file or any shape like this, uh, this problem occurs. And the solution is really simple it's not the cleanest but it works so you're just gonna take uh this this new now and you're gonna move it to the start of this snake okay and now just uh parent it to the second null so now when we move uh we have the first null you know, copying the start of the object. We are also gonna make the stroke uh, round cap. Okay. So this is just I wanted to show you uh, that these problems occur, and this is how you solve them. I haven't I haven't found any better solution to this. So now let's also create the gradient. Uh, we want to remove the stroke. They're gonna make the gradient uh, bigger, and maybe maybe not so big like this. And let's take the position of this, and uh, also we need to center the anchor point. And we need to parent it to the second null, null 11, and now let's put the position to 0 and 0. Also, let's mask it to trim. So, this is it. Uh, I think you, you get the point of this technique, and I hope you learned something today and that it will help you with your motion design career. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. There's gonna be many more After Effects and Blender tutorials coming up, so stay tuned. See you guys.